I have a theory. Surprise! I have been thinking about Amberversion, and I know that I've read before on different sites that some people think that it doesn't exist. You know, you have to be an introvert or an extrovert. Um, there's no in the middle. And, you know, other people or schools of thought say that it does. And um, I think that it does because of how I feel. And I'll, a lot of the time, like, if I haven't gone out or seen or done for a while, I, I start to get really depressed. And I don't realize it, and I don't even know why. Um, but then if I go and I'm around somebody or a bunch of people, all of a sudden my mood is elevated just instantly. You know, even if it's just a little, all I need is just to be around people for a little bit and it just like all gives me something. And then also if I'm around people too long or, you know, like I said, Lyft is awesome for me a lot of the time because I get to talk to people, but it's kind of like these little segments, um, where it's not like hours and hours and hours or big events, big places, big noisy places, depending on how I feel. Sometimes it's fine, but uh, sometimes I'm just like, ah, you know. Uh, but I definitely wouldn't go to the Gorge in Washington. There's this place called the Gorge where they have all these huge concerts, and I've been to a summer jam. I saw Bone Thugs and Harmony there in 1999 or 1998. <laughs> uh, I've, you know, I've been to a few. I've seen Dave Matthews there. I've seen, um, I've been to some concerts there. Back in my crazy days. So now that sounds like hell on earth for me. <laughs> like, I would hate it now. Uh, especially I would camp in the campgrounds, which are like tents on top of each other and people wandering around and people tripping out at like three or four in the morning, depending on the concert that you're going to, like wandering around talking to themselves. But once upon a time, that was heaven on earth for me. And now it's just like, uh-uh, no way. If I even did go to a concert there, then I'm going to go stay at a hotel somewhere else or whatever. And, you know, or like in a little tent by myself in the woods so I can like chill out after the concert. Point being... I think that Amberversion does exist, and the theory that I've come up with is that maybe it has to do, at least in part, or at least for people with it, uh, maybe it has, any has something to do with it, especially the closer it is to the top of your functional stack. Maybe even SE. Maybe that has something to do with it. I don't know. I was only thinking NE because I have NE. So I guess I'm just going to talk about NE. It's my number one function. And so, and it is an extroverted function. It goes out into the world. It, uh, it sees possibilities. It connects the unconnected. It takes, you know, it is what my goose uses, you know, so any is my maverick. And then it's like getting all the information so that TI, my goose can make decisions. And I mean, information is just coming in, you know, and the less crazy I've gotten, you know, with things probably blocking my intuition, the better I get as far as health wise, I think the higher my intuition gets and the higher my intuition gets, the more information, uh, comes in, you know, and I can't do anything about it. It's just coming in. You know, I can look for it and I can dig for it and I can ask for it. Um, <clears throat> but it's just, it's going to come in no matter what, which is why places like my little hidey hole here with my water and my candles and, you know, all my little twinkly lights and stuff. I need that. Um, I need to have places like this. It's just, I think it's why yoga helps so much because I don't, there's nothing, you know, around and I can only concentrate on body movements and posture and doing things correctly. And it's, it's a great way to check out of what I'm used to, a check out of my brain. My theory is that perhaps any, at least for my point of view, has something, for my case, has something to do with this. So um, I wrote down the types that have intuition in them. And then I wrote the order um, where here. I can't talk tonight for some reason. Um, but I wrote in descending order where it's placed in the functional stack. So for any in the number one spot, it would be ENFP and ENTP. Number two spot, INFP and INTP. Number three spot, ES, uh, I'm having problems. ESFJ. I thought it was a P. It's my own handwriting. And ESTJ. And then in their number four spot, um, ISFJ and ISTJ. Hopefully I just said those right. I'm reading them backwards. I'm thinking that with intuition being in a number one spot, even though you have two extroverts here, uh, this one's going to use FI as their second function. Uh, this one's going to use TI. Perhaps 
the amber version comes in because uh, because when your intuition picks up so much, when any picks up so much, it gets overwhelming and it overloads you. Um, especially, like I said, the more healthy I get, the more information I get, and the more introverted I get, you know, or the more I need my alone time just to be away or, you know, to be, you know, with certain people maybe, but, um, I feel like the more healthy I've gotten, the more introverted I've become. And I think kind of right now I'm more introverted than maybe where I'm going to level out at, but it feels a lot more stable to me. I feel like I'm just a lot more balanced. I think I am pretty in the middle. I, I just feel in the middle, but where I used to be an extreme E, um, I don't know. So I'm thinking that maybe the higher your extroverted, maybe information gathering, if it was SE2, uh, where the higher it's placed in your functional stack, maybe that has something to do with your level of ambiversion. And I would like to hear what people have to say about this, because I'm not sure. I only know my own experience with this. But, I mean, it would be very interesting to hear what an ENFP has to say about it. And maybe that's why people get confused. Yes, I love people, but I really need my time alone. Uh, and can maybe even mistype themselves for introvert or extrovert, especially depending on the situation where they become introverted or extroverted. But I would also, and I've heard some INTPs on my uh, video about where I say introverts and extroverts, what would you do if? I've heard some INTPs say, uh, you would think I was an extrovert or if this happened. And, you know, somebody said, um, if it was something that I like to talk about, all of a sudden I would perk up and I would start talking a ton because I love to talk about things that I'm interested in. So I'm wondering, you know, what INFPs and INTPs think of this into extroverted intuition theory, you know, um, because they're introverts, but every now and then it sounds like they feel like people would think they were extroverts. And maybe that's because NE, you know, that's their information gathering and that's what makes them interested in the outside world. So if it's a topic they're interested in, all of a sudden they can check out of their TI mode and their, their um, go-to and oh, I want to talk about that, you know, that th their intuition lights on fire and then they can be animated and just like any other extrovert. And then maybe the farther NE gets down in your functional stack, maybe the less amberverted you are and the more, uh, the more your E will come out, you know, or maybe... Maybe if we're just going with any at all, I mean, maybe these types also feel that way, but maybe the degree is less, you know, maybe they, these types also have times where they just are not going to be the extroverts, um, or these, the not, not the introverts, but maybe it just lessens the farther down in the stack any gets. And again, this could apply to SE and maybe others, I don't know. But anyway, that's my theory. And I hope that was clear because I feel like I didn't really think about this beforehand and I'm coughing and... Slash is barking, and, but it makes a lot of sense to me. And I, I think any can just get very exhausting, you know, again, because you can't stop the information that's coming at you and things are firing off. And especially like the, the sharper my intuition gets, the better I can read people too.